guys, so today I'm going to be going to Starbucks and trying matcha for the first time. And I've actually filmed a few videos during this quarantine period, but I haven't had the motivation to finish them or edit them or anything. I just didn't feel like they were good. They're still on my camera, but I had this video idea literally right whenever all this was starting, before there was like a stay-at-home order, at least where I live. And I like started the intro and everything, and then I drove over to, over to Starbucks and they were closed, and I was like, what? Like, I would have never expected Starbucks to be closed, but they were closed, and I was shocked. But then I was running errands yesterday, and they had a sign that said drive through now open, and I was like, yes! I can finally film this video a month later. I'm excited. If you don't know, I don't eat dairy. Like I normally get my things with almond milk, but I've watched a lot of Rydell Lynch's videos. Like she loves matcha and she gets hers with coconut milk. And I was like, I don't really like coconut milk. Like I don't like tasting it like in ice cream and stuff. I don't like coconut milk. But then I was thinking that like in the pink drink or like the dragon drink, I don't really taste coconut. It just like tastes really refreshing. So I think I'm gonna try an ice cream tea latte with coconut milk and hopefully it won't taste like coconut. She says it doesn't. She says that like almond milk is way more overpowering than coconut milk. So I've never tried matcha before. I'm really excited, but I'm also really nervous because I feel like now that I've wanted to try this for a month, I've like built my expectations up. Every time I make like a green tea tango at Smoothie King, I am smelling the green tea and I'm like, mm. it has this like earthy smell, but it smells so good. It looks like it's about to start raining. So hopefully uh, it won't be too loud because I'm really trying to do this video today. But I was really excited to film this video. So I got up at 7.20. I left my house by eight. Hopefully I'll be home and done with this video by like nine, 9.30 because I have quite a bit of things I need to do today because I worked yesterday and after delivering a surprise to someone, I was pooped and I didn't want to do anything. And yeah, so I haven't done anything that I was supposed to do yesterday. So now I have yesterday's stuff and today's stuff, which is just the same stuff, just double the amount of work now. So yeah, we left out for real. I'm really excited to try this. I brought my metal straw because I know that they have like the zip lids, but like I need to be able to stir it. And I just love straws. Like cold drinks out of a straw to me is just so good. I've been having iced sweet tea every day in my glass with a metal straw and it just makes it so much better. And I've actually been like, this has nothing to do with anything, but I've actually been like watering down my sweet tea. Like I put this much water in the cup before I put in sweet tea. And it doesn't taste any different to me. But yeah, I wish I wouldn't have like gone this long without talking to y'all. I really just, I don't know, like I, I would film and I'd be so, in the moment I'd be so excited. But then throughout the day I would just lose, I would lose the passion for it. So like I filmed a what I eat in a day and I liked that video. Like in the beginning I filmed and like talked to the camera. And then throughout the day I just filmed my food and that's it. Like I would film it and then like it'd be a two second clip. Like if I film a what I eat in a day, I want it to be like a what I eat in a day slash day in the life because I love watching those. It would have been like a five minute video, no talking besides the beginning. So, and then the other one I wanted to film was a week in the life. I used to do like week vlogs all the time. I loved them and it was basically just me talking to the camera for a week straight. I feel like during this time you would be able to hear like my thoughts, how they're changing. I filmed like two clips in like a little haul. I was, it was done with it. So now the lighting's going be bad but it's fine we fine girl we fine but i'm excited to be talking to y'all i don't know i feel like my first videos back after a long time is always drive with me so even though this is not even the video video is like me trying matcha for the first time i feel like that would just be like a five minute video too so might as well do a drive with me to there and maybe from there but i really hope i like it i'm gonna cry if i don't because i have been so excited for this i wore this outfit yesterday like after i showered after work and I was just feeling myself like it's this friend's like crop top and then I'm wearing it with like just blue sweatpants but like this is really the only crop top I have that I'll wear. Oh a cop! Who would have thought? I haven't seen one of those in a long time. Hello sir! Thank you for doing your business. During this time I've not seen any cops anywhere like you could be going like 90 down to 50 and no one would catch you but I didn't do that obviously because that's crazy but I'm just saying like they're not gonna risk having corona just to give you a ticket. I'm gonna be there in a minute so i think i've talked enough and i'm gonna go through the drive through and order it see you in a sec with the matcha in my hand unless they're closed again oh yeah they're open and there's like 18 cars in the drive through so <laughs> it's gonna be hot man since i have plenty of time to talk i was gonna say how like i have been wanting to just order my own matcha and make matcha but i didn't want to like make it and then not like it and then spend 30 dollars on a matcha powder but that's the reason that i've waited this long and 
so yeah. There's eight cars in front of me, and there's already three behind me. I thought getting up at eight was gonna... Literally, when I drove by yesterday, there was no one here, but maybe that sign was just to prepare for today. Okay, so I kind of already cheated and tried it. I'm glad I brought my straw because uh, they didn't give me a sippy lid, but there was a bunch coming out the top, so... I really hope they made this with coconut milk. Okay, good. They did. <laughs> I forgot that they put a thing. Like, I literally haven't been to Starbucks in so long that I forgot what they do. Yeah, I mean, it's good. And you can't taste coconut. It tastes like there's milk in here. So I really hope there's not. And I just realized that I've been touching everything. I was just too excited. I was planning on getting my hand sanitizer out. Like, I'm so shaky because I haven't had, even though, like, I've been working. So obviously, I've had personal interactions. But, like, okay, I got the Germix on my hands. And I'm a drink. Wow, I just like, I just really enjoy sitting here. They're probably like looking, honestly, they probably don't even care because they're so busy right now. What the heck? How is that coconut milk? I'm just like shook right now because it tastes like very vanilla-y. I know they put tons of sweetener in there and I know that's why it's really good, but that's why I, went, I wanted to just try so I can get the general flavor of matcha so then I would know if I wanted to actually like, you know? Hmm. Yeah, it's good. I mean, it's good. <laughs> I don't know how people taste Starbucks matcha and are like bleh, bleh. Yeah, I really like this look. I've already drank that much of it I would love to just sit here all day and drink that without any cares in the world, but we got to get going Oh, and their hours are Monday to Friday 7 to 2 p.m. That's why I didn't see anyone here yesterday I'm really excited that I like it because I can make it at home Okay, okay, okay This is not a good situation and we're gonna go home the way I came because I'm not going home in the street because I'm not that once again like starbucks matcha is sweet a lot but i thought that it was a good start okay gosh it scared me it sounded like it's behind me but no one's behind me the only place that's been open that has matcha is duncan but i've seen mixed opinions on their matcha i'm gonna go home and order matcha powder right now and i know like it depends on what you get so i'm gonna go to Lindsay ray's video and get that matcha because i know that she liked that and I've been loving Lindsay Ray recently because she does so many matcha videos. Her and then Rydell, Lynch, those are pretty much the two that like are obsessed with matcha that I've been watching. Now I'm really happy and I'm ready to start my day, girl. I have to go home and watch some AP Stats lives because I'm in AP Stats and I still have to take the AP Stats test. At least it is shortened and at home so it's basically open notes but we're doing like a review right now on events placements YouTube so. I'm so glad that I like matcha. I mean I knew I would because I I eat healthy even though I know that's not healthy I'm talking about Courtney rain so Courtney rain hates matcha and nothing against her obviously like everyone has their own taste but like with like the pineapple matcha like she didn't hate it so maybe I should try that too but I know that's like a really tropical drink so that's probably what I get like when it's really hot like today it's not hot like it's pretty cold outside and I'm wearing short sleeve but it's because I would just ruin the vibe of this shirt with a sweater or something so and I still haven't found a cute black cardigan I'm trying not to purchase from like fast fashion brands anymore I can't get them like secondhand. I've been doing a lot of research on that stuff. I'm just so excited. I'm really excited. Can you tell I'm excited? I don't think it's the caffeine getting to my head. It's just literally every time I'm driving and walking at the same time, I get crazy. Like look at any of my drive with me. I pretty much get like this. So one thing that I've loved about this time is like whenever I drive, I drive this way to work and it's a road with a lot of houses on it. And I just love seeing like people like either out riding bikes with their kids or like walking with their kids or walking their dog or jogging or whatever. And like, you don't see that like all the time. Like, yes, people are doing that sometimes, but I feel like you always see like a bunch of people out, which I just love because people are like getting out into nature and I just love it. It's just so fun and cute. I just love it. People are spending quality time with their children's god has blessed us with this time for a reason last week i took it pretty hard i was gonna film like i told you i've been trying to film like 18 different things i was gonna film a trying to get motivated day or something like that but i just got so motivated that i got doing stuff and didn't ever film so <laughs> can't really use that video but i was talking about how like i've never revealed my age on this channel but i'm a senior so this time has been really affecting me i mean i've hated high school and the only thing that kept me there was knowing that my senior year like i was gonna have the best time ever so it has been really difficult last week i did not spend any time with the lord i did not i didn't do anything like that's why i was so behind this week because i hadn't watched any of my ap stats videos i hadn't worked on any of my college class 
because I'm in a dual enrollment class for English. I hadn't worked on my draft for that at all. Like I hadn't done anything. Then this week, like on Monday, it was just like, since it was Monday, it was like a fresh start, it felt like. And then Tuesday, I went on a walk with my dogs because I've been doing that, but I once again hadn't done that because I wasn't motivated. I did that and then I went and sat and literally just read Proverbs 1 because I was gonna try and do like a 31 day where you read one proverb a day just to kind of ease myself back into it because before I found out that we weren't going back to school officially, like I was, I was reading more of the Bible than I have ever, which was really making me grateful for this time because it gives you time to be able to do that. So I feel like it's a way to ease into it because even that one proverb, like it didn't even have anything to do with the proverb. I was literally just sitting outside and hearing the birds chirp and the wind blow. It was just making so much noise and I was like, I'll post the story right here, but I posted it on my Instagram because it was so powerful. There's no way that these thoughts just came from my brain in the second those words that came into my head were obviously god talking to me i've never actually heard the lord speak to me but every time that like he puts thoughts in my mind i know that that's him i'm a good writer but not like that it was like a full-on big paragraph within like two seconds like it was all happening in my brain at once and like i just had to write it down in my notes because i was like this is good stuff and then i posted it on my story and a lot of people said that it it was a good reminder and it helped them it made me know that like there was a reason that the lord put that in my mind it was more for me but obviously it helped them too it was basically just like i was sitting outside and realized that nature has not stopped we're in quarantine we're at home and we're not allowed to go out and Unless you're going for groceries, you're not allowed to be with people. But nature has been going this whole time. The sun still comes up every day. The moon still comes out every night. The wind is still blowing. Why? Another cop. The birds are just like chirping away. I said this in my story, like not that we shouldn't be quarantining ourselves. Obviously we need to follow the rules and that's a smart thing to do, but we can be doing stuff during this time. Once again, it's okay if you're not motivated. It's okay if you can't get out of bed because I've been there. I've crossed over that hump. Like you have to get over that hump eventually. I've realized that like we need to live. We don't need to stop our lives because nature hasn't stopped its life. So why would we stop our life? But that was something that really like helped me this week. We're seniors. This is affecting all of us. And I don't know if where you are doing adopt a senior. That's what I was talking about earlier where I said like taking a surprise. My mom had adopted a senior and she's like one of my best friends. I have been like helping out with that. It was really fun shopping for her. It just made me happier like shopping for someone else because right when the attention gets taken off of you is whenever you feel so much better. I didn't put this on my Instagram, but I had told it to someone else. I'm not someone to like self-pity. I don't like that. Every time you do it, you don't realize how bad it is until you get out. And so once I got out, like over that hump, I was not thinking about myself and poor me and like, why is this happening to me? That's like right whenever you feel so much better. And now I'm home and it's not even nine o'clock and I'm home. I really want to film a whole video on like how it's been as a senior during this time so that like other seniors can watch it and feel whenever i've talked to a few people that are senior it's always beneficial to me to talk to them no one else like people who aren't seniors don't understand what has happened to us because they can only understand how their senior year went and it's nothing against them because obviously like they didn't go through that we have experienced this totally different thing and the only memories we have of our senior year is this and yes like we're gonna be a part of history or whatever but i would much rather get a senior year than be a part of history but that's my little two cents and maybe i'll talk about it more in like a, an in-depth video but yeah matcha so good on a lighter note <laughs> so yeah i'm gonna go in order me some matcha get all my stuff done today oh i'm really excited i'm gonna have my mom taste this and she's probably gonna be like that's probably gonna be like a Courtney Rain perspective. This tastes just like what a green tea tango smells like. I've never tried green tea tango because there's frozen yogurt in it and you girl does not eat dairy. Wow, I'm really happy now. Everyone have a great day. I hope this brightened your day a little bit. If you're having a hard time, just ask the Lord and he will provide. Yeah, and go try you some matcha if you eat healthy or if you've ever thought about it. Do it. That's what be. And it might brighten your day a little bit. I love y'all and I hope that y'all have a blessed day day or night wherever you are if you if you i don't even know what i say what do i say i really hope you all enjoyed this video if you did i would love you if you subscribe i would love you if you, i would love you if you the heck i can't get it right i hope you enjoyed this video if you did i would love you if you subscribe down below ew my voice got on country <laughs> i really hope you all enjoyed this video if you did i would love you subscribe down below and please give this video a bit the thumbs up it really means so much to me thank you so much for watching bye yes girl get it